To bridge the gap between unsupervised skill discovery and real-world robotics, we present a new factorized learning framework. Our approach is designed to autonomously learn a library of safe, interpretable, and robust skills that can be deployed zero-shot from simulation to hardware. Existing unsupervised skill discovery methods often produce skills that are unsafe, unstable, or simply not useful on real hardware. The first step in our framework is factorization. We divide the robot state space into a set of distinct factors. Each state factor is then associated with a corresponding latent skill vector Z, creating a disentangled representation for control. For instance, we factorize the state into base position, base height, base pitch, and heading rate. Crucially, our framework allows us to assign different skill discovery algorithms, like METRA or DIANE, to each factor. We leverage their complementary strengths, METRA for maximizing state coverage on factors like position, and DIANE for learning highly distinguishable skills for factors like orientation. This process yields a separate intrinsic reward for each factor, which can then be used to train the policy using standard on-policy RL algorithms like PPO. However, this exclusive reliance on intrinsic rewards reveals a core limitation of traditional skill discovery. While they effectively encourage diversity, they provide no feedback on whether the learned behaviors are safe, robust, or physically feasible on real hardware. As a result, without additional guidance, the discovered skills are often overly aggressive or unsafe for real-world deployment. To address this, we introduce a style factor. This provides an additional, extrinsic reward that guides the policy towards safe and stable actions. In our work, this style reward simply encourages the robot to maintain a neutral standing posture. With the style factor, our skills are now much safer for deployment. However, they can still be arbitrary and unstructured. For example, the agent might learn to walk left very differently from how it walks right. To solve this, we introduce symmetry augmentation, which embeds knowledge of the robot's morphology directly into the learning process. A key contribution here was designing mirroring functions for the latent skills. Finally, some skills are naturally in conflict with one another. To manage these situations, we introduce factor weights lambda. The policy is conditioned on both the skill vector and these weights, allowing it to dynamically prioritize certain behaviors. Effectively, these weights directly scale the reward from each individual factor, telling the policy which skill is most important at any given moment. This weighting mechanism also allows for fine-grained control of the skills. While we command a continuous walk-forward skill, we can alter the robot's speed by only changing the factor weights. This adjusts the balance between the intrinsic reward for moving and the extrinsic reward for standing still. The learned skills transfer zero-shot from simulation to the real robot. We can command it to walk using the base position factor. Via the heading rate factor, the robot can rotate on the spot. Direct control over the base height factor enables behaviors like stretching or crouching. Thanks to symmetry augmentation, the skill for the orientation factor naturally decomposes, providing independent control over roll and pitch. We can also compose the skills. For example, we can command the robot to walk while pitched or to rotate while crouched. To summarize our key contributions, first, factorization allows us to use hybrid objectives, leveraging the distinct advantages of different algorithms for each factor. Second, to ensure the skills are deployable, we incorporate symmetry augmentation and a style-based safety bias. This combination allows us to transfer the learned skills directly to hardware, zero shot.